Multiplying or multiplication. Good. Who remembers what that L means? Lane. 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 And so, what's the W? With. And length times width equals, equals area. area. So, what's that A stand for? Area. area. <coughs> I'm going to do a few examples and then I'm going to pass out some dominoes and you guys are going to use the dominoes to do the same thing. You will also be getting your graph paper and you get to write the numbers of the dominoes. The example, if I pull out a domino, I'm going to use the numbers on my domino to find my area, which would be, in this case, what? Zero. zero. We're not going to use the zeros because that means we have nothing to find the area of. Okay, number. Does it matter which side I use first in this case? Mm -hmm. No. Six. We're going to use this one first because it is Six. first. What number is that? Six. Six. When you do that, you are going to make a box six down. So you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you're going to go across with your second number. What's your second number? Four. four. You're going to go across. How many times? Four. One, two, three, four. Now, can I? Do you see a box there yet? No. No. In order to continue, you need to make your box. So if that's four across, how many is that going to be? Four. Now, that's a good question. Is this which one's my length and which one's my width? If you think the length is the side, raise your hand. If you think width is the side, raise your hand. Okay. Misspelled, but what does that word look like? Wide. Wide. So width means what? Wide. Wide. Do you want wide this way, or is that wide? That's wide. Wide. That, this is the wide right here. Mm -hmm. That's the length. Because we want to know how tall it is by how wide it is. So this is the length. This is the width. Now, again, if that's six, what am I going to do to make my size on What were my numbers? Six. six. So we have six. Four. Times four because we have eight. Hold on, guys. Six times four. Raise your hand, please, if you remember what six times four is. KJ, what is six times four? KJ, I'm sorry? Twenty-four. Thank you. Who remembers? Well, let's just finish. Let's go back. Is my answer complete? No. no. What am I missing to make this complete, Dion? Mm -hmm. Tamia, what am I missing? Inches. Yeah. Inches, but in this, what do we call it? It starts with the U. You Thank you. Because in this case, it is inches. Is it always in inches, though? No. No. If I needed to find the area of this classroom floor, because it's so big, would I use inches, yards, feet? Yards, 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 yards right, yards. because it's the biggest. Well, that's the one we're going to use. We would use yards. So we need our units. In this case, since I used my ruler, what are my units on here? Or what are my units right here? Centimeters. What is that right there? Inches. 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 We can tell. Because we have centimeters on this side, inches on that. Is that an inch? Or is that a centimeter? No. Is that an inch? No. Yes. So, how many inches do we have now? What's the abbreviation for inches? I am. I am. I am. Are we done now? What are we missing? The square. 
squared. You guys did not say two. Thank you. What's the difference between perimeter and area then? Perimeter. Thank you for raising your hand. What's that? They can be the same inches, whether it's or the same units, whether it's centimeters, yards, feet, whatever. But area has this thing. Square. It has to have the square. Ethan, you want to put that away, please? Okay, I'm not going to use the dominoes. I'm just going to make one. I'm going to change things around. I want this to be my length and that to be my width. So, my length. What's my measurement? Three. Three what? Three feet? Three cats? Three, 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 three inches. Good. What is my width then, Marquisio? Four, inch. four inches. Four inches. Now, if you couldn't multiply, is there another way one could solve this problem? KJ. You could put three, three, fours. I mean, Keep going. you would put three fours right there on the paper, and then you would count them. And okay, you just said the magic word. I'm going to cut you off. I know I shouldn't. Count them. What are we counting? The. the look at, look just at the picture, KJ. What are we counting? We're counting the square. Thank you. If you could not multiply that, count with me. One, two, two three, four. you can do this. Length times width, which is what? Three times four equals what? Twelve cats, twelve years, twelve cars. Twelve inches! Twelve inches, how many? Two squares! Now, I could write this another way and still get the same answer. How many do I have going down? Three. Three. What if I had four going down? Four. I'm going to overlap with the green here. One, two, three, four. What's my width right here? Or what's my length? Excuse me. Three. What if I want my three to be my width? Can I do that? Yes. One, two, three. Close up your polygon. So now we have, whoops, excuse me. But again, let's say we can't multiply. Almost like what am I going to do? Count them up to two. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Does that area match exactly size yes, for size, yes, that yes, one? Yes. It's almost like math families. Is the polygon this, this is congruent, though? No. 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 Because this one goes this way, and this one goes this way. Is it vertical? Horizontal. So, 3 times 4 is 12 inches squared. What's 4 times 3, then? Or 3 times 4 is 12. 12 squares. Inches squared. So when you have your dominoes, does it really matter which way you do, which number you do first? No. no. The difference is going to be the position on how your rectangle or square will be laid. It's either going to be very long or very tall. 
what we're going to do today, and I'm not going to have you do both. You just get to pick one. You can do a six by four or a four by six. Eventually, you will be doing both. Example, on your piece of paper. This will be a domino. And you have your little graph paper. My first one is, I'll draw my domino so you can see it. And I just ruined my board. That's okay. We know how to fix it. Sharpies never belong on the board. Okay, there's my domino. So what's going to be my first picture? One. 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 One down. How many across? Three. three. One, two, three. three. That's all you're going to do. Now, if I had to flip it, I'd have three and one. So what would be my... Back up. One three. times three. Three. When you flip the domino, what becomes the first number, the three or the one? Three. So how many times do I need to go my length? Three. So you have one, two, three. How many times do I need to go across? One. One. And then you bring it down. Now, the pictures, they have the same area, but are they the same picture, per se? No. No. So now you have three times one. What's my area? What's my area for the first one? Three, three what? Three squares. Three, square. three, three inches square. If we're three using this paper, three, right? Three square. Because we changed units. Because we changed, we changed the size of the paper. When you draw your own later with the ruler, they can be inches, millimeters, centimeters. But the tinier, the more difficult. So in this case, it's what? Centimeters. Centimeters. What? Square. Square. So what's my answer for box number two, or rectangle number two, then? Three, three, three square. Square. Do we say CM? No, CM. Thank you. So although the pictures are going to be different, the area is still the same. Don't use pen. You will use pencil. I want you to show area both ways. I said at first I didn't want to, but I want you to understand that the same numbers equal the same area, just different pattern. Because if that was a floor, you couldn't pick it up and move it. So if it was a table, it wouldn't matter which way you do first. But if it's a floor and you have a door right here, you're going to need to know that it, you have to lay it this way. Whereas if the door is over here, again, you need to know where you're walking. I need a couple of helpers to pass out everything, please. Start with the paper. These are going to be just like the dominoes. Sorry, the bingo chips. Just give a handful, maybe a bigger handful. We can always come back and give more. But right now, you need to make sure that one group has plenty. If I had a whole bucket for everybody, I don't. One, two, three, four. Actually, can you come over here? Ethan, I want you over here. Oh, okay. Can you go there? That's fine. Just take you to your chair, to your body. Hold on. We may not need to pass it out. We may have fruit. Um, for the time being, slide your chair up here. So here's a box for you guys. Here's a bag for you guys. Here's a bag for you. Here's a box for you. So you guys do not have any, correct? Group five? Yep. Oh, there's a this in there. Yep, that's a direct one on the Oh, it's a piece of here. Okay, we just like to share the same Thank you. 
those two vertices so it becomes a cube. Okay, now, let me see your pencil for a minute. What number is that? So, 
And then what number is that? And what is 6 times 6? So 6 times 6, so length times width equals 36 what? What are these? Centimeters. There you go. That's all you have to do. Now, it's a square because it's 6 and 6. Do you need to do it again? No, because they have the same number. If you had this one, would you have to do it again? Would you, are 3 and 3 the same? So would you have to do it again? Correct. If you had 5 and 5, would you have to do it again? Right. Anytime you have a number that's the same number on the left as the right, you're only going to be doing one box. Okay? Right, you do six times five, and then, or excuse me, five times six, and then what? Right. So you go how many down? You do one, two, three, four, five, six, coming across. And two, three, four, five, and then you bring it up. And you have what's your length? What's your width? And what? And you need your answer. The next one you have how many down? And how many across? Thank you. Yeah. So these should all be you don't have to erase the square, just put the sand. These are centimeter squares, not inch squares. Inch squares are huge. So as long as we're working on this, yeah. So yeah, there you go. Just one more. Just one box. Because if you swap it and put six up there and six down there, is your picture still going to be the same picture? Yes. So as long as you have the same number, you don't have to redo it. That does not mean go and stick to all the same pages. Because I want to see different ones. Okay. Thank you for numbering. Guys, make sure you number each. Pair, please, so they're together. Oh, thank you. Yes. In this case, it's centimeters, but if you're using the centimeter paper, remember inches are about that big, so you can get the closer to the Get the dominoes and get up. No, you're not. Excuse me, my dear. Okay. That one centimeter. That one inch. So would those be centimeters or inches? Right. It does. It takes. Do it now. I'll erase it. That right there is an inch. It takes four of these centimeters to make one inch. So, in this case, it is centimeters.